All right, so today we are going to be having a quick discussion about which of these units in the Memorial Dragonstone selection are, in my opinion, worth buying with your, you know, Memorial Dragonstones. Now, the first thing I'll say before we get into it is that uh, this pool is quite good, but the price kind of pisses me off, honestly, because I think 150 stones is just way too much, and on top of that, every single unit costs 150, regardless of how old they are, regardless of whether they're a category lead, or one of the OG 120 leads, or a 70% lead, like some of these units are literally like 6 years old, and a lot of them are available in the redstone selection, right, for free, and for some reason, they still cost 150 Memorial Dragonstones, the same as the newer category leads, which just makes no sense. It's really dumb. It honestly feels like they're trying to trick some newer players into like buying some of these units. I mean, they should cost 30, 50 at most, but instead they cost 150, just like the STR Super Vegeta or the GT Goku. GT Vegeta. It's just really, really dumb. I don't like that. But with that said, let's uh, <laughs> jump into the pool and highlight some units. Now, as you guys can see, I've already spent all of my Memorial Dragonstones. And what I did was just exchange all of them for the Celebration Summon tickets. And I think that's actually the smartest move for most people, especially the newer players, because uh, well, a couple reasons, right? Number one, it's more fun to summon for your units. And number two, it gives you a decent chance to get multiple units from this pool as opposed to just one. So my first recommendation is that if you are a newer player or you are just missing a lot of the units in this selection here, then consider maybe just exchanging all of your stones for tickets for that chance to get multiple, of course, you could get really unlucky and not get anything, but I don't know. I just prefer to do the summons because once again, I think it's such a ripoff to have to buy one of these units for 150, especially some of the older ones. So yeah, that's the first piece of advice. But if you are, you know, an older player, a veteran player, and you're missing just a few of these, then maybe it does make more sense to uh, select a specific one that you're missing, right? So starting from the top, obviously this STR Super Vegeta is uh, one that you should really consider because he is very good. He is really powerful offensively and defensively. I wouldn't say he's the best, but it's not bad. He can hold his own in most events in the game. He will have some trouble in some of the hardest events like the Cell Max event, for example, but every unit struggles there, so it's not really his fault. And uh, his defense might also get you in a little bit of trouble in red zone, but he can hold up okay. And his leader skill is also really good. It's Pure Saiyans and also Mastered Evolution. Now, he's not the best Pure Saiyans leader in the game, but he is one of the best, right? So if you need a Pure Saiyans lead, he's also a good choice for that. So that's definitely one I would highly consider. If you're missing him and after that I would say this uh, Kid Gohan is not super high on my list but he is a very very good defender so if you guys need a unit that can uh, provide you with a lot of defense on longer events then this Kid Gohan is also not a bad choice uh, the GT Goku the GT Goku and the GT Vegeta are both extremely good for GT heroes or Goku's family slash Vegeta's family, respectively, or Pure Saiyans, of course. So I'd consider those guys as well. Now, between the two, I think the GT Goku is better. Vegeta's not bad by any means, but the Goku can put up much bigger damage numbers. Like, for example, my Goku, who is rainbowed, is getting like 8 to 10 mil attack stat per super very consistently on a 200% lead team, right? So. Uh, yeah, I really like this unit. He's very powerful and definitely in my top five. And after that, we have STR Videl, who is really, really good, but limited, 
okay? She's not really gonna be helping you on too many different teams. It's mostly Peppy Gals, uh, I guess Defenders of Justice, maybe Majin Buu Saga. So if you need help on those teams and you have, you know, the supporting units around her, then she can be really, really good. But the reason I wouldn't like highly recommend her right now is just because I do think she's a bit too limited to buy with 150 stones. And after that, we have this guy right here in Broly, and he is really effective against the uh, enemies that are pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans. So if you need help on the legendary Goku event, the legendary Vegeta event, uh, or against himself on the Broly Ultimate Red Zone stage, then this is definitely your guy. He can launch multiple supers, he can hit really hard, he gets damage reduction, and he also stacks attack and defense, so that makes him even better on longer events. So a good unit to consider. And from there, let's see, I'm trying to highlight some really good units. Obviously, all of these guys can be good, but as far as the best ones, uh, we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now this dude is still strong, but I actually think that the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with his Extreme Z Awakening from the Anniversary is better. So if you guys have the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta already, then there's no real rush to pick up the int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Um, you could run both, of course, but it's not really super necessary, right? So. Uh, yeah, between the two, I would prefer the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but this guy wouldn't be a bad choice. He still hits really hard. He still has that dodge counter, of course, and uh, he also gets some pretty decent defense. So that is the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Now from there, we have the Biz uh, Final Form Frieza that transforms into Golden Frieza, and I actually really, really like this unit because of its versatility. Uh, you're able to transform him into Golden Frieza on turn 1 if you want to, whereas if you want to stack his defense for longer events, then you can leave him untransformed and uh, you know get the transformation at the end. So a pretty versatile unit, of course also going to be good for a Wicked Bloodline team with the new cooler, so that might be something to consider. And uh, this tech Gohan is still a beast, he's still a beast, his damage is decent, his defense is absolutely amazing on longer events if you're able to stack him for a couple of turns he is basically still untouchable and the guard of course is uh, incredible too so i still have a lot of love for this unit i still think he's one of the best choices that you could make from this selection so that is definitely in my top five uh yeah from there we have some other decent units but nobody that really stands out too much right now uh, this STR cooler, this STR cooler is still offensively really fun to use and really strong against, uh, you know, pure Saiyans and hybrid Saiyans units, but, but his defense is quite lacking and we don't know if he's going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening with this celebration. Now, if he does get an Extreme Z Awakening, then that's probably going to be amazing, right? And uh, that would be coming for like a part two, maybe even a part three of the celebration, but it's a bit of a risk because we don't know if that's in fact going to be happening. If I were to bet, I would probably put money on he is going to get an easy A, but we don't know for sure. Okay, so if you do pick him up, it would be because you're assuming he's going to get an Extreme Z Awakening, but at the same time, if it doesn't happen, then it might not be the best choice right now because in some respects, especially defensively, he is a little bit uh, outdated at this point. Okay, so that is the STR cooler. Uh, these guys I wouldn't really consider. Now, this guy is officially getting an Extreme Z Awakening with this celebration, right? And he is uh, probably gonna be awesome but just like the cooler, a bit of a risk because even though we know he's getting an Extreme Z Awakening, we have no details about it yet. So what if, let's just say, we get the bad team that makes the bad Extreme Z Awakenings for this guy. I don't think that's going to be the case, but there's always that possibility, right? So if you pick him up to prepare for the Extreme Z Awakening and the EZA ends up being kind of bad, then it might be 
you know, a slight waste, but I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think his EZA will be really, really strong, but we just don't know for sure yet. So that's a little scary, you know? But yeah, Dynamic Goku, not good right now. Probably going to be very good once the EZA drops. And from there, I would stay away from these guys for the time being. Um, of course, once their Stream Z Awakenings come out, that's going to be a different story. But for now, none of them are really that impressive. Uh, the cooler, the metal cooler, might get an EZA as well. Just speculation, but I've heard some rumblings that maybe part two of the celebration has something to do with the metal cooler movie. Um, this is not confirmed, so don't hold me to that. But if that's the case, then obviously this guy would be a prime candidate to get that EZA, right? So something to maybe think about. Um, wouldn't really touch the Boo. Now the Goku and the Frieza are very solid Extreme Z Awakenings, put up good numbers offensively and defensively, so those two are potentially you know, units you would consider here, but they're not super high on the list. Uh, Android 17, not so good right now. Now these guys, all four of these, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, the future Gohan, the SSB Vegeta, and the Turles all have Extreme Z Awakenings. Between these four, I think that the SSB Vegeta and also the Turles should be very high up on your list of priorities. Turles is incredible. His EZA is amazing. I mean, he hits really hard. He gets some really good defense now, especially after he transforms. And his support is even better. So if you want a pure Saiyan support or a movie boss's support, um, dude, he is really, really good. In fact, he is in my top five. He might be in my top three right now. That's how much I like this EZA. And uh, similarly, with the Vegeta, this SSB Vegeta, I might actually put above the STR Super Vegeta in terms of usefulness after the EZA. He hits harder, he can get better defense, his leader skill is actually even better than the Super Vegeta as well with his Extreme Z Awakening. He gives 170% to uh, pure Saiyans across the board as opposed to like 130 slash 170 for the Super Vegeta. So between the two, if you're able to Extreme Z Awaken the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, then I would actually heavily consider picking him up over the STR Super Vegeta. That's just my opinion, of course. And after that, we have uh, a couple of units that don't have their Extreme Z Awakenings on Global yet, but we know that the Blue Vegito and the Rosé will get their EZAs later this year on Global. They already have them on JP, and they are both very, very good. But for the time being, um, you know, they're not here yet. So if you're purely going by current performance, then I wouldn't go for them right now. And, uh, oh, of course, Int UI Goku, a very good stacker. Not as impressive as he used to be when he first got his EZA, but still a strong choice, especially if you need a good leader for Realm of Gods. And uh, Golden Frieza is getting Extreme Z Awakening. It's not super good, but it's not bad. Um, not someone I would heavily consider, but not a terrible choice, I would say. Uh, Ultimate Gohan, kind of the same thing. Decent Extreme Z Awakening, but nothing too special in my opinion. And uh, of course, these two guys, the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I think is better than the Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta right now with his Extreme Z Awakening. But of course, the Int one will eventually get an Extreme Z Awakening and become even better than the Tech one. But just for the time being, at their full potential, at their strongest, I do think the Tech one is a little bit better. Fizz Omega Shenron, also a very powerful unit now with his Extreme Z Awakening. He's like a better version of the Fizz Final Form Cooler Extreme Z Awakening, although his uh, available teams, his team building options are a little bit limited. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to pick him. And uh, from there, we have the 120 leads who all have Extreme Z Awakenings, and some of them can be very good. But once again, I just feel like it's a massive, massive ripoff to spend the same amount of stones for a 120 lead 
or even one of these older like 100% leads or 70% leads when you can buy a category lead who is better for the same cost, right? So I wouldn't really consider any of these guys. I'm not saying that they're not good because some of them are very good. Like uh, the Vegito Blue is still really powerful. A lot of these 120 leads are still very useful. Like the TUR Super Saiyan Force, I still use all the time. Uh, the Final Form Cooler is really good. And some of these other guys are not bad either, but it's just not worth it, guys. I wouldn't do it. And the further we get down on this list, the less value you're getting for your stones. So I really, really wouldn't consider buying any of these guys, especially because they're all available in the redstone selection. I mean, if you really want a Super Saiyan for a Vegeta, or you really want a, I don't know, Int Janemba, or something like that, just buy them with your Red Dragonstone, your God Dragonstone. Please don't spend 150 Memorial Dragonstones to get those guys. So now that we've gone through pretty much all the units in the selection, I'll give you guys my top five that I would heavily recommend that I feel like are the best value for your stones. And starting from the top, I mean, of course, best value overall is, is tickets. But as far as units go, I would say STR Super Vegeta is definitely in my top five. Uh, Fizz GT Goku is up there as well. And then I would probably say the Broly is close to being a top five unit, maybe number six on the list. Uh, Tech Gohan, I think is gonna be more useful for mo more people because of his ability to be a really good defender on uh, basically any event. Whereas for Broly, he still can be good on most events, but he's really at his best against pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans, right? And uh, yeah, so that's three in my top five, right? And the last two I would probably put in that top five would be either, uh, yeah, probably SSBE Vegeta or the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that becomes Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and also the AGL Turles. So that would be my top five that rounds out my list. Of course, if you guys need other units that you don't have any copies of and you already have all the ones that I mentioned, then those would be a better option for you personally. But yeah, uh, those are the five units that I feel like right now are the best choices for the average person, for the average player with your Memorial Dragonstones. And of course, things could change once we see some Extreme Z Awakenings for guys like, you know, the Blue Gogeta or the Fizz Broly or the Metal Cooler and so on and so forth. But I can only go off of the info we have right now, right? So that is my list, guys. Those are my recommendations. And hopefully watching this has helped you at least a little bit if you weren't too sure what to do with your Memorial Dragonstones. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.